going to make a heavenly blue that is a flower and I'm starting out with some risk clay that I rolled out on my second or uh, thinnest setting on my pasta machine. I'm going to make the first flower of this because I want to make a mold so that I can make as many flowers as I want to. It is kind of hard to explain what I am doing here, so it's easier if you just watch it and do the same thing. Uh, this one was kind of tricky to make, but I took my time and it ended up really nice anyway. I finally got the shape for my flower that I want. I make a little texture in the inside of the flower before I bake it. I flatten out a piece of this wrist clay and then I cut out the leaf, the shape of the leaf that I want. I'm going to make some texture in it and then I'm ready to bake both of these parts. I'm going to make a mold of these parts and for that I'm using my silicone mold putty. This is a two part putty that you mix together and put around the thing that you want to make a mold of. Leave it to dry for half an hour and then your mold is all ready to use. My molds are ready now, so I'm just taking out my originals and I'm going to save them if I need to make another mold one day. As you can see, these two parts fit together, but for me that did not work out as I wanted it to. So I rolled a piece of white clay to a point and put it into the mold and I squeezed the clay up the sides of the flower and made the texture with my needle tool. I 
I had some green wrist clay that I used for the flower mold. I just cut out a thin slice of the green colored clay and I'm just putting it down in the mold and pressing it nice and firm until I like uh, the way it looks in the mold. You can push out the leaf from the mold before you bake it. This way you can make more leaves at the time or you can bake it in the mold this kind of mold putty is fine in the oven. I made this simple mold of a round straw, the inside of a straw, and I made a pot around this little mold, very easy. Now I'm just stomping in some clay and I'm making sure that the top layer is a brown clay. I put in a few pieces of uh, green wire that I had lying around for this little craft. And then I am going to bake it. I used some blue citadel paint for the flowers themselves. I paint the inside of the flower blue and only a tiny bit of the outside of the flowers. I'm doing this on all the flowers that I have and now they are ready. I use a camel green citadel uh, paint for the leaves just to give them a bit of color so they are not so flat. I do that on all the leaves as well and then we are ready to put the flower together. I'm putting some normal paper glue down into the pot and I make sure that it is all out to the edges. Then I'm taking some coffee ground that I actually did dry in my oven for a very long time so it is dry and nice to work with and I'm going to put that into the glue. This is going to be my dirt. I'm using my super glue gel to glue on the leaves here and there on these wires and also on the pot so that it is all over and it looks like the pot is really full of leaves. When that is all dry I am going to glue on the flowers again with my super gel glue and I'm making sure that they are sitting nice and neat and I'm actually leaving one just to be lying on the table underneath the flower pot. I'm going to take a tiny bit of glaze and I'm glazing all the leaves on this little plant. That is all there is for this project. I hope you liked it as I found this one really fun to make. This is also going to go into the watchmaker's den and I will show you a few pictures right here. Thank you for watching and happy crafting. <music>